Let's look at how we can put um, standard deviation into Excel and into Google Sheets. Um, the first thing that I need to tell you is that we're going to do it two ways. The first way is going to mimic what we do by hand. So we'll call it the by hand method. And the second way is going to be um, the by Excel or by Google method and that's using a function in Google Sheets or in Excel to do the calculation for you and we'll use that as a double check on our longer calculation that mimics what we do by hand. So let's get started. I want to use this data set here and that's the same one that we used for our group work. It's on page 16 in your guides. I believe so. Okay, so the first thing to get going with the Google Sheets is that I need to create a Google Sheet. So I open up Google Drive and you can get it from your um, Google Plus. Go to this four, well it's nine, nine squares and slide down to Drive. And that will bring you to Google Drive and then just click Create and I want to create a spreadsheet so there it is the spreadsheet and now I have a spreadsheet open remember in Google Sheets you just click on the title to give it a name and this one I'm going to call standard deviation in Google and then OK now I need to try to mimic this table so I'll just slide this over a little bit so we can see both things at once. I want to sort of mimic that table so I need to I want to leave a column just for titles so I'm going to start over on column B and then I'll call that my X's or you could put X sub I's if you want to be fancy and then my X squared so I'm going to use the caret to say squared so caret 2 means squared and then I just push enter and it's going to move me back under X's or you can move back over to it. Now I'm just going to type in my information. So I have negative 1, positive 1, 2, 5, 10, and 50. So there's my data. All I've done is type it in and type two column headings. Now what I want to do is square everything and it's really easy to do in a spreadsheet. So remember the first thing that we have to tell Google Sheets is that we're going to have it calculate something so we put in the equals and then I want to square this this negative one so I can click on the negative one and then it puts in the cell reference or B2 and then I can use that caret which is right above your six on your keyboard and then two so that's to the second so it's squared and then I'll push enter so it squared negative one and gave me a positive one and that's exactly what I had in, in this um, table so I can double check that I entered my formula correctly. Now coming back I'm going to click on that first cell where I already did the calculation bring my cursor over to the bottom right where it becomes a big plus or a cross and push and drag down with your mouse and it will fill in the same thing for every cell. So let's look at it up in the top you can see the B Three this time is being squared. If I do my down arrow now, B4 is being squared and so on. So as I move down, it has also shifted down the cell references. So it's always looking at the cell right before it to do the squared for that. So that was quick and easy. Now let's see what else we need to do. We need the sum of the X's. So I'm going to write in a title over here, sum of X's. And, and actually I'm going to just say sum, of, yeah no I'll say that, of X's and then I can come to my first data item click on it and then remember hold down control shift down arrow it's going to select all the data since I have no numbers following it immediately so I can do that easily and then um, I can put in that summation if I can find it, sometimes it, we lose some of the yeah it's not showing me everything because I have it on a smaller screen so I'll show you the old-fashioned way. So we type in equals to tell it we want to do a calculation. So equals and then the keyword sum, that's a function in, in Google Sheets. 
and so that's going to add everything up for me and then I put the left parenthesis and now I can go over to the negative one click on it drag down and then release with the mouse so it's going to select that whole um, range for me V2 to V7 and there's a colon in between I could type that if I wanted to as well so there's the sum of those items push enter and it'll give me the actual number which is 67 and that agrees with what we had on our table originally so I know we did that correctly come back to this one this time I want to do this whole column here so I can start at the bottom and say equal sum left parenthesis go to my first data item this time we'll try control shift hold those both down while you push down the down arrow and it selected them for me and then right parenthesis and push enter 2631 and I see over on my original table that matches so I know I'm doing that correctly and this one I'm just going to write next to it this is the sum of x squared this time so I can keep track of what's what the next thing I need according to my table on the original table I made was this squared sum so I'll put as the title squared sum and then I can just take the number right above and square it so I have to tell Google equals first and then click on the data value I want to square and then use the caret to remember it's right above the six and then push enter 4489 and that's exactly what I got on my table before so I know that parts correct as well now I need to do the calculations for the formula and you can see my formula is right up here and we're going to do things in exactly the same order as we did by hand so we're imagining we have everything in this formula and we're just going to do little pieces of it at a time and so I'm going to make up some sort of silly names for the pieces so that we can remember where they came from so looking back at the original formula and or at this piece I know I need to do this 4489 which was our squared sum I need to take it divided by the 6 first so I'm going to call that little divide and that's my silly name and to do that I'll do equals again click on that 4489 and then push the divide and then I need to have my n and I forgot all about it so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start over so I just push enter I know that's garbage so I'm just gonna select it and then push the delete key and it'll delete it for me I just remember there are two things I needed instead of just one one of the things I need is the n and my n is the how many data items I have so I'm gonna say equals count and left parenthesis and that's Excel's title count is to the function that that count is the function that Google Sheets has to tell you how many items are in your list so equals count and then select your data items put the right parenthesis and push enter and so it tells me six which is what I decided over here to n equals six then I need one other thing remember my denominator was n minus one so I'll just go ahead and calculate that right now I'll say n minus one for my title and then equals and I'm just going to select the 6 because it's the n already and then say minus 1 and then enter and I get the 5 that I expected now I'm ready to do the little divide so my little divide is based on my formula is the sum of the x's quantity squared divided by n so I have to add up the x's first then square and that's my squared sum which I spelled incorrectly so I'll fix that my squared sum so I need that number first so we'll say equals to tell Google we're ready to calculate click on the the squared sum and then put the slash for divide and then I need to divide by the n I see it here and I see it there and so I'll click on it, the N here and you can see it color codes for me so I can tell if I've got it or not push enter and I see I have 748.166 and it goes on and I'm fine with that if these are intermediate steps so I don't care what the how many decimals are showing on this right now 
Next thing, I took care of this little divide, so the next thing I want to do is the subtraction that's in the numerator, so I'll say the subtraction. Subtraction. And to do that, I'm going to need the sum of the x squareds, and here's the sum of the x squareds, so it's this one right here, and then I will need to subtract the, the little divide, and that's the calculation I just did. So I'll say equals, click on the sum of the x squareds, and then minus this little divide that we already did. We don't have to type in any more numbers, just click on things, and then push enter. That's my numerator, which it looks like 11, uh, oh, what did I do wrong, 748.16, that's correct, and then 2631. I might have written something wrong before, huh? Let's see. So I have 1882, and on my paper I have 1182. Let's see if I did it right or wrong. And then, so once I've done that subtraction, I'm right there. Now I need to finally divide by that 5. So this will be the big divide. And so the big divide is going to be that number I just came up with. Oops. See, nothing happened in the cell. That tells me I forgot the equals. So put the equals in. Click on that subtraction result and then slash for divide and then click on the n minus one and then push enter and so i have 376.56 repeating and so it looks like i did mess up i wrote the wrong number here but it's correct when i got down to here so my big divide 376.56 repeating and then i need one more thing which is the square root now excel has a square or Google has a square root function, so we'll go ahead and use that. So the last thing I have to do is square root. And to do that, I just say equals SQRT, and then left parenthesis, and then I can click on the thing I want to take the square root of, which is the 376.56 repeating, and then right parenthesis, and now you can see 19.4053, and it goes on. At this point, I can select the column just by clicking right on that B. And then since I want to change the number of decimals, I can say custom decimals. And let's just show four decimal places for everything. So even my data numbers, which maybe I don't want to do because those were all nice whole numbers, I can change those back, select them again, and just put it back to whole numbers 4489 there. So just in my calculations, I'll show with four decimal places. So we can see the square root is 19.4053. So I told you we were going to look at two ways of doing the standard deviation. This is the by hand method. And the other method that we're going to do is the square root method from Google. So let's take a look at that. So then we'll say um, we could put by hand standard deviation and then we could say by Google standard deviation and so to do the standard deviation in Google you just say equals because you want to calculate and then STDEV and there it pops up for me left parenthesis select your data so I'm going to the first data item pushing and holding my mouse and sliding down just to the bottom to the 50 that's my last data item let go of your mouse and then come down and put in your right parenthesis and enter and you can see I got the exact same value now that tells me that I didn't make any mistakes when I was calculating if these two are not coming out to be exactly the same number you made a mistake somewhere and it's probably in your work here it's possibly in your by Google work because you could have given it the wrong set of numbers to find the standard deviation for. So you have a little bit of detective work to do to figure out why your standard deviation isn't coming out the same on both calculations. But mine are, so we're good, so you're ready for the next step.